Hello everyone, welcome to Make Me Scientific. In this video, we are going to measure the mechanical equivalent of heat by the electrical method. These are the apparatus that we would require during the experiment. The positive terminal of the battery is connected to the positive terminal of the ammeter. The negative terminal of the ammeter goes into end A of the calorimeter and that end A has to be connected with the positive terminal of the voltmeter. The end B from which the current leaves the calorimeter is connected to the negative terminal of the voltmeter and that terminal B is also connected with the rheostat terminal as shown. The current exits out of the rheostat and goes back into the negative terminal of the battery. The weight of empty calorimeter vessel is 29.5 grams. Pour the water inside the calorimeter vessel up to three-fourth of its volume. The total recorded mass is 109.6 grams. Immerse gently the calorimeter filled with the water inside the setup. Gently lower the heating coil of the calorimeter inside the water. Gently lower the thermometer inside the calorimeter setup. Please make sure that the thermometer does not touch the heating coil of the calorimeter. Let's turn on the battery. Keep the EMF of the battery as 12 volts. Adjust the rheostat resistance such that the ammeter reading shows 2 amperes. The corresponding potential difference across two ends of the calorimeter is 2 volts. The initial temperature of the water was recorded as 26 degrees Celsius. Let's start the stopwatch and start heating the water. Make sure you stir the water inside with the help of the stirrer for the uniform distribution of the heat. Take the readings after every 3 minutes of the heating. Let's turn off the battery and allow the setup to cool. Similarly, take the readings of cooling after every 3 minutes. Let's begin with the observations and the calculations. So the range of the ammeter, voltmeter, thermometer, everything is given over here. You, you may see that the ammeter measures from 0 to 10 amperes and then there are 10 divisions between 0 to 2. So you can also find the least count that is 0 0.2 amperes. So everything is being mentioned over here. This is with respect to the voltmeter that is 0 to 5 volts as well as uh, there are 10 divisions between 0 to 1 so you can find out the least count 0 0.1 volt as well as over here this uh, uh, i could not shoot the entire image of the thermometer but it could measure from 0 to 100 degrees celsius as well as the gap between you may see that between 30 degree and 40 degree there are 20 divisions right so that means one division corresponds to uh, 0 0.5 right so all those details are being mentioned over here the least count of the stopwatch is being uh, shown in the diagram. So that is 
given yeah the mass of the uh, only calorimeter vessel was measured in the beginning as well as the mass of the water and the calorimeter was also being shown so you take the difference that is small m the emf of the battery was taken as 12 volts it was kept till the full voltage 12 volts the ammeter reading did not change during the entire experiment we did the heating experiment for 15 minutes that is 900 seconds right the initial temperature of the water was 26 degrees celsius when we started the experiment right this this is our observation table all the data are being mentioned over here very clearly uh, you need not to take all the readings while cooling ideally it's okay if you don't take it so the last reading of the cooling uh, that is after 15 minutes so water was being heated for 15 minutes from there again after cooling for next 15 minutes this is the final reading so it did not cool very much right even though i had tried to steer this one the steering was continuously on but still uh, what happens is the moment you start heating and when you shut down the heating process still the heating coil inside the calorimeter is little bit hot so the uh, initially while the setup is off though the temperature keeps on rising and then the cooling becomes very slow right because it is enclosed inside the vessel so you can expect about two to three degrees of cooling in 15 minutes now all those necessary relevant uh, uh, datas are being taken over here now let's um, write down the final temperature that is this one over here the initial temperature i mean the final temperature of the heating process final temperature of the cooling process now let's find out the fall that is theta dash minus so this is this minus this so this is two degrees celsius okay now the radiation correction is to be done, necessarily done that is half of this one that is one degree and then theta to the corrected final temperature is theta that means 36.5 plus one so that is 37.5 now you need to find out the rise in temperature that is theta 2 minus theta 1 now what is theta 1 that is the initial temperature of the water let me show you that part again theta 1 is 26 degrees celsius over here so 37.5 minus 26 is 11.5 degrees celsius now the water equivalent is m1 times the specific heat so what is m1 m1 is the mass of the copper vessel so it is 29.5 into 0 0.1 so that is 2.95 that is small w right now we are going to plug in all the data over here let's run the calculation so j is equal to v i t into 10 to the power 7 ergs is actually 1 joule or calorie divided by that is m plus w okay times 1 upon theta 2 minus theta 1. So let's plug in all the values and let me use a pen. Okay, I may enlarge this one, this portion. Okay, voltage throughout the entire experiment was kept as 2 volts. Everything is in SI unit. The current was 2 amperes. Time should be in SI units, that is 900 seconds. By the way, this time is the time for the heating, time for which you had passed on the current, that was 900 seconds divided by this small m now let's find out what is this small m that is the mass of water taken in the calorimeter so only the mass of water so let's find out what is the mass of water that is 109 no that is only 80.1 that is the mass of the water so 80.1 so that is 80.1 plus small w is 2.95 multiplied by 1 upon theta 2 minus theta 1 that is 11.5 times uh, 1 joule per calorie now if you solve this using the calculator you will get this approximately 3.7 i did it already 3.7 calorie uh, sorry it is joule per calorie so let me strike out this again this is 3.7 joule per calorie so this is my conclusion that is the mechanical advantage of mechanical equivalent of the heat so ideally the answer should be 4.1 but due to some of the errors in the experiment i could not get the perfect uh, answer you may um, this is allowed 0 0.5 plus or minus is always allowed so we are on, a, on the correct
I hope the experiment was helpful. Thank you very much for watching the video.